The third play in the series, Shop Thy Neighbour, can be seen at 9.30 next Thursday. Duke Mackenzie and Dave McCauley are the boys in the ring at Wembley fighting for the IBF World Flyweight title. There's live coverage of the clash on BBC One Wales' Sports Night in a minute, together with international football and the game between Denmark and England. Here on BBC Two Wales in 10 minutes, Newsnight includes the latest report from China and a look at the complexities of the current labour laws in Britain in the light of today's court ruling against the dock workers. And there's also a report on the forthcoming Vauxhall by-election. First, 10 by 10, the short, bullish new film directed by Mick Conifrey. Young, upwardly mobile, professional. If you don't want to put people off when you visit a foreign country, it helps if you know how to be polite in their language. As with many other venerable institutions, the stock market has its own specialized vocabulary. There are technical words used in various transactions and more image-laden terms which could be described as the argo of the market. These give a greater feeling of its character. The broker and the jobber. Nicknamed the thundering herd. The meat for Wall Street's insider sharks. The bears are still there too. To stag, to make a short-term profit. Taking the poison pill, it's called. It was a battle, a battle pure and simple. He wasn't going to lose his company to that asset-stripping bootstrapper. Geared up to the eyeballs and high on junk bonds, he'd be no match. No, just sit tight and wait for the first dawn raid. No poison pill, no lockups, no white knights. Just sit tight and wait. It's a tough, muscular language, rich in metaphor and suggestion. The stags and bears of Wall Street are very different from their namesakes in the wild. A city bull hopes for a longer life than his cousin in the Spanish arena. Picking and choosing the right investments requires very careful handling. One wrong move can easily damage the best laid plans. At Merrill Lynch, we know that size and strength can be very valuable. Exactly two days and one minute from now, a rocket will explode. These gates will be thrown open, and the bulls will burst out and left and up that hill called Santa Domingo. bullpens at Pamplona are well over half a mile from the ring itself and the custom grew up that young men of the town should test their bravery by sprinting through the streets with the bull. Next, we're going to be looking at Big Bang and the deregulation of the market. Come with us then. In October, the so-called Big Bang will revolutionize the way the stock exchange is run. It's the biggest change the city's ever faced, and the competition is intense to get the best people and the best buildings. In a leveraged buyout, stock is purchased using the targeted company's own assets as loan collateral. A risk arbitrageur may also buy shares in the threatened company, anticipating huge profits in any takeover battle. He's not quite sure why he does it, but it's something in the blood. I basically enjoy gambling, and it's great fun to gamble with somebody else's money. Make no mistake, it is dangerous. The young men prepare for the bull running through streets which have been blocked off by stout wooden barriers. 
the race with death. The young broker, he works hard, he plays hard, and the Porsche is, is his reward. A red silk scarf is supposed to show that you've run with the bull, but everybody wears one, around the cafes and at the bull ring. Well, don't need to excuse being in the city. It's a choice, and it's a fashionable one. We're waiting to as Pamplona braces itself for one of the last great bacchanalian parties in the world. We believe also that it should be as common for people to own shares as it is for them to own houses or cars. The privatization of British Telecom and many other firms extended share ownership to hundreds of thousands and there will be further measures to come. Capitalism is the story of how the privileges of the few became the daily necessities of the many. Whether you intend it or not, you'll get caught up in the wild atmosphere of the street. It we have privatised the docks and the ports and the bus lines and the airlines and the shipping lines and the companies that make the buses and the ships and the aircraft. The things that happened could only have happened during a fiesta. Everything became quite unreal finally, and it seemed as though nothing could have any consequences. Hopelessly to try and keep up with it all, or to understand one-tenth of the thinking behind it. You just let yourself be drawn into the all-night revelry. <laughs> The cold grey light of the morning after. Five or six o'clock, it all begins again. Breakfast is snatched on the way into the office with a traditional bull runner's breakfast. Chocolate and churros. An equally predictable testiculo de taurus to eat. The testicles of the bulls that were killed the previous day. Sliced thin and served on toast. Buy that 10,000, get me a name on it. Tell Nils I could use additional. The tension can be read in every face in the street. It's hardly minimized by the arrival of the rockets the traditional starting guns that set the bulls on their way. We're going to turn the bull loose. really run against the bulls or from the bulls you kind of run against yourself he said a bull three meters away gives him a sense of well-being and a sense that he's performing as a man words can turn against us he who makes a killing doesn't necessarily want to die by the sword Wall Street is down over 500 points tonight in the crash of 87. The Sydney stock market plunged on down. The tumble went on in Tokyo. In Hong Kong, the market never opened. Then all eyes turned to London. The underlying economies are strong. I have never gotten a budget that I asked for. Congress is responsible for the deficit. The Chancellor said in small investors should keep calm. The market can be rather like a big dipper, he said. Today's losses evoked memories of the Wall Street crash of October 1929, which brought with it depression, bankruptcy and unemployment. during the town's annual bull running festival through the streets. 450 people lost their jobs at one city bank this morning. The value of shares on the world's financial markets has continued to rise.